Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 13 of Pokemon Coral version. In the last episode we got a new crew member, Jay Stormy, who somewhat underperformed in our first battle with him. Uh, we completely lost, got completely flattened, uh, pancake-like I would say. In this episode we're gonna be, um, keep on keeping on. I think instead of facing that trainer, I'm actually gonna wanna go, um, to the left over here first, because that was kind of a level spike and I feel like this might um, ease how much of a spike that was. Oh. Okay. Oh, is it level 16? Okay, it's level 15. Um, J Stormy's doing nothing to this thing. Maybe switch out into, into Wildred, give it a water gun or two. Get some levels on all our friends. I feel like I usually start these episodes with a wild Pokemon encounter. Just showing what you can get. Um, you can evolve Onyx to Steelix um, without trading- oh, there's Sturdy. You can evolve Onyx to Steelix without needing um, to trade or anything in this version. So I think it would actually be a, a pretty good Pokemon to pick up. Because um, I just think Steelix is a cool Pokemon. Not to just keep on <laughs> talking about previous playthroughs, but um, I used a Steelix in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and it was really solid. It did me really well. Um, Alright. Oh gosh. I'm gonna... Oh, I know what I need to do. Here, let me swap the um, Lucky Egg over. Give that to Jay Stormy. <laughs> Where? There we go. And then Dana and Bedtime can both um, hold berry juices, if I can find it. <laughs> it's gonna be way down. Okay, there we go. I think this is a pretty solid lineup. Um, there we go. Okay, this is to explore down deeper. Oh, we're in a fire area. Ooh. Hey, little bro. You have a fire type Pokemon? Me and my bro surf over the lava on our fire Pokemon all the time, bro. You should try it, little dude. I don't even have surf. I need a fire type then. Oh no. Oh god. What am I gonna do? Um. Poison. We don't have a psychic type. So we're just gonna have to run away. Cool. Do you hear this music? God, that's crazy. There's gotta be a stone, there's gotta be a fire stone somewhere. Okay. What's wrong, kid? Too hot for ya? It's not hot enough. Whoa! Fire breather, Fritz! That's scary. Alright. J Storm is saying hi and immediately going back. Oh, that's interesting though that we need a fire type thing. Um, what do I want to do about that? Oh no. Was I low coming in? Why was I low? Oh, the Onyx stuff. Down goes Numble. There's no way this thing lives. Yeah. No way. Another Numble? Okay. That's a Slugma. Slugma also is gonna go down in two hits. I don't think it's bulky, it's it's a literal... It's a Slug. Oh, that was scary. If that Rock Throw hit, I'd probably be gone. But with this, we're gonna level up. And finally, a Larvitar. Okay. Hmm. Nice to see you, buddy. Ooh. Doo -doo -doo. Puff Jay can deal with it. I believe in Puff Jay. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> this is gonna do neutral damage because it's like a rock dragon, right? Or, oh, 
What is it? Is it just a pure rock type? I don't even remember. Rock Dark. I, I genuinely couldn't tell you. But these Pokemon all go down in one hit. That's so sad. And Firebreather Fritz was defeated. Wow, what a red-hot battle. If you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Sick. This music! This is dramatic. This is tense. <sighs> Give me a new Pokemon! Oh my god. Yeah, no, I think... Well, maybe I won't spoil it, but I have some bad news. Some bad news for Jay Stormy. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay, there was a guy over there, but I don't think we can say hi to him. Slugma. Slugma's the first fire type we actually see down here. I, I, I don't want a Slugma. No offense. Slugma and Magcargo are great Pokemon. <laughs> oh, God. Because Ponyta's not going to know Surf. Ponyta's not going to be able to fire Surf, right? That's obvious. Why is he looking at the wall? Just completely... Okay. Nummel. So I know what you're thinking. Camerupt is weak to so many, so many types. He's practically not usable. Why are these our only fire type options? I want a better option. Um. My goodness, okay. That guy's an encounter. I wouldn't mind taking right now. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this is the only fire area right now, and I don't even have Surf to do anything with it. Slug was my favorite of the options we've seen so far. Nummel and Camerupt just isn't good enough. And I think Slugma um, is an interesting Pokemon. It has interesting tools. Definitely. Um, this is going to do no damage. That was a critical hit. Whoa. Okay. Let's see here. Water gun's just gonna knock it out, right? Especially if Boulder has a Mystic Water. Let's go for Bite, so that way even if it wakes up it can be flinched. No. 10 damage. I was- <laughs> I overestimated Slugma, that's my bad. It's hardening. I was gonna say, how can a magma slug do that, but that actually makes sense, like the rock on the outs- like, not the rock, but like the magma on the outside turning into rock. Maybe. Maybe I'm giving it too much credit. And there's our rock throw. Let's catch this thing. Slugma's gonna get caught immediately. Immediately? Come on. Oh, Slugma's so nice. Thank you, Slugma. Thank you. Slugma's data was newly added. These group together in areas that are hotter than normal. If it cools off, its skin hardens. See, it's even talking about it. Um. Oh. Look at that sprite. That's kind of scary i kind of like it um something that isn't profane to nickname the slugma igneoid it has to be igneoid it's like igneous because it came from a mountain magma zone it's an igneous rock uh let me go grab him whoa whoa you can get a larvitar in here 
Ah, uh, I don't think I, I don't think I want one. But that's really cool that you can even find one. Um, Larvitar would be a great addition to like any team. I think this, um, I think Mount Oma has a lot of really good Pokemon to add to your team. Um, even if I wish they had better fire types, but they honestly do have Ponyta and Rapidash up there, so it's not like there's nothing. You know what I mean? We're depositing. You may have guessed it, but unfortunately, J Stormy, let me just take its item. Um, it's not necessarily just because it lost that one battle, because that genuinely wasn't really its fault. I just think that with the way the team building is going, um, what obviously Altaria would be doing, um, oh, I'm, I'm using the wrong tool, um, yeah, what Altaria, when it evolves, would be doing is basically what Ivysaur is going to be doing, and there's not a lot differently that they would tank, um, that plus, obviously, I do have two grass types on the team already. So, it was good for coverage, but something like a pure fire type might be, um, more immediately usable. I'm sorry to say. Um, I still think it would be, like, for a team like this, Swablu definitely isn't a bad addition. Um, I just want someone that can do more damage, I think is the, is the thick of it. Just because a lot of these Pokemon are tankier, but don't do as much damage, and I, I don't need more of that. But anyway, uh, let's go back and fight that trainer that was giving us some grief. Going into Igneoid's moves a little bit, we have Ember, Rock Throw, Harden, and Fire Spin. Oh, uh, let me go back to the nature. Impish, so positive defense minus special attack. That's not a great nature, but that's fine. And it has Magma Armor, which prevents it from becoming frozen. Um, I don't think it keeps that when it evolves, but I also don't remember what it evolves into. Anyway, let's just get started with this battle. Like, what ability it evolves into. I remember what Pokemon. You can't beat me in this heat. I'm in my element. Hmm, heat isn't an element. That's probably what he's gonna say. Just, not, not to predict this game. Um, he sends out a Slugma. It's about to be a Slugma duo. Slugma battle. Actually, that might not be a good idea because it can just rock throw me on the switch. I, I want to use him though. I think, I mean, the episode's pretty early on. Uh, we'll find, we'll find a way. There's a will, there's a way. Dana is a flinch monster. I feel bad. I think this should knock it out, right? Oh, so close. So close. Ember's gonna do not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Like nothing. We're leveling up soon. We're almost gonna be level 20. I wonder what we're gonna evolve into. All right, we have a Magby, level 20. Um, I'm gonna bite and then, okay, it does have Feign Attack, so Slugma's probably not gonna be a good switch. Oh, the Berry Juice that I <laughs> completely forgot about somehow. Perfect. Okay, let's, um, Switch into Wildred. And we get Fire Spin. Luckily, Fire Spin doesn't actually block you from moving like in Gen 1. So it's not the worst thing to ever happen. But um, let's see what we can work with. Ooh, this is an annoying Magby. That did way more than I thought it would. Maybe Wildred should have a Berry Juice. This is kind of embarrassing. Oh, I'm trapped. Oh, no. No, I think I have to just go for a quick attack. Hope I get a crit. Come on. I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> Didn't even want to waste the full thing. It just fire spin me and called it a day. That's rough. Igneoid, it's your chance. It's your time. Rock throw. Okay. What does that even do? What does clear smog- oh, stat changes are eliminated. I, I didn't realize it did damage too, it's like a haze that deals damage. Anyway, down goes Magby. Dana grows to level 19, and we get some XP too. Down goes Mort. Maybe fire isn't my element after all. 
Maybe I should catch a water type Pokemon. Not a bad idea. It's always good to have that type diversity. Um, I don't need to. I don't. I can use my tools I have right now and heal up. This is jamming. It's so jamming. Oh, do you do you hear it developing? Do you hear its sound developing? So good. All right. And we are back to this troublesome trainer. Let me give it an orange berry, or I guess a citrus berry. That's annoying. Let me just, yeah. Let me just give Dana the citrus berry. That'll work. Uh, yeah. We have a full team of six. No way, this thing will keep us down. Ah, the air out here is so refreshing after being in that cave for so long. Now I'm ready to kick your ass and put you to breakfast. Alright, Cody. The rematch. Clap. Easy clap. I think I'm gonna go for a charm, okay? Yes! Yes! Here's- yep, that's when the citrus berry comes in. And I get kicked twice, it's double kick. I'm- that's okay. Charm. And now I'm just need to switch into something that could take a fighting type move. Um... Which would obviously be Puff J, but it's just gonna start flame charging on me. I think Ignoid might just want to come in here. It can tank a double kick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's nothing for it. So it's not nothing, but... With that doing 14 damage, I'd have... It would be a waste. It'd be a waste to use um, Harden. I think. Yeah, because I, I, get, I get two rock throws. Oh, and that did no damage. No damage. That's a physical move. How, what's my physical attack? Probably like nothing, huh? No, I mean it's there. I think, yeah, I think Ponyta's just not a slouch. Switch into bedtime, maybe go for the paralysis. Yeah. I mean, luckily I did, I did weaken it with that charm pretty considerably. Um... Oh, it has Leer too? Okay, so we know everything it has. It has Ember, Flame Charge, Leer, and Double Kick. That's totally okay. I think that, um, I think Bedtime, even though it's going to be kind of slow, I think Bedtime can deal. Yeah, especially now that we're actually getting the Paralysis. Ugh. That was rough for a moment there. Yep, and then here comes bedtime citrus berry, or berry juice, yeah, if- I find that if you're struggling in these games, there's usually a way to- I mean, obviously, like, this is designed for kids as well, but there's always gonna be a way to kind of itemize differently, or just kind of act within the game. Critical hit, good for us, where you don't even need, um, you don't even need to use items in the match. You just win, anyway. Scratch that. I should have just minded my own business. Yeah, maybe you should have. All right. Yep, you can see more of the... Oh, that's where we were. This is, um... Yeah, Glint City is over here to the left. This was Route 4. That's the cave. Wow. It's really cool that you can actually see what you were looking at before here. The view from here is amazing. Want to look with me for a while? Sure. Great. We're so high up. Everything looks so small from up here. It's a bit romantic. Ah. <sighs> 
so beautiful though. Okay. Would you and your Pokemon like to rest here for a while? Oh, there's a rest stop right here. That's amazing. Okay. Thanks for sharing the view with me. Come back anytime. I'll be here. How cute. Okay. Hiker's going mad. I think, I think we can I think we can do it. If you made it up this high, you must be quite the trainer. We'll see. Ted wants to battle, he has a coughing. Level 19. Getting the flinches off, um, I don't have a psychic type, I don't have anything that can really put this guy in his place, I don't think. Rock doesn't beat poison, right? I'm just gonna keep on going for bites. I think that's, I think that's the best option that doesn't involve, um, Thunder Wave, Thunder Shock from bedtime. <sighs> We get smogged. What is what's smog again for like driving a car? It's like mirrors. So I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I don't have my license. I'm. It's, it's so embarrassing. I'm like 20, 21, and I don't even have a license. It's like I don't know. I I, I don't feel that bad about it personally. Like it's it's whatever. It's how it is. But. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie and say I don't also kind of regret not um, getting it early. It was just kind of hard for me too, just with money and stuff. I was um, I was paying for my own like community college, so it was just very okay. It doesn't hold on using sturdy. We're good. I didn't really have the money to just pay for Drugger's Ed like that. We're gonna heal a little bit, but not a ton. Dana, okay. Puff J grows to level 19. We have got one more Pokemon. It's a Zubat. It's, it's poison flying, isn't it? So I'm just gonna have to swap into Igneoid. Everyone's getting use. Ooh, Air Slash. That's, oh gosh, that's not good. Um, and it's faster. Oh god, it got a crit. Igneoid's just down. I didn't buy Igneoid though. Um, <sighs> How annoying. I trusted him. Her. I, I, I literally named it Oid. I don't know. Getting the thunder shot. It's obviously a two hit, but bedtime's probably gonna grow to level twenty from this, so it's not all bad. Just worse than I would like. Super effective. Puff J in bedtime. Oh, not quite. Hiker Ted was defeated though. Yup, I was right. You're strong, all right. All right. And this is kind of a shorter episode, but I think this is actually a good place to leave it for now. Um, in this episode, we continued up Mount Onwa, took care of the pernicious trainer that stabbed a knife in our back last time with the... Oh, it doesn't make a cry when it's fainted. It just, it's quiet. The fact that it was quiet, oh my god, that was so funny. Um, with the help of Slugma, our... Brave Igneoid. Impish. Alert to sounds. Alrighty. In the next episode, we are going to continue down Mount Onwa, or up, I guess. And hopefully, make our way to Sunbeam Island. Um, hopefully. See you guys then.